Hi, good morning everyone. It's Daniela from Cake in the Afternoon here. I thought I'd show you um, how I uh, make my edible image printed cookies. Um, today I've got an order to do um, for just a small order for 12 heart-shaped cookies with a um, printed image on it. And so um, I just thought I'd take you through how I do that. Um, I prepared some icing sheets earlier that have been uh, printed and custom cut to size to the size of the um, cookie that we're actually delivering. <clears throat> so we've got a heart shaped cookie and we have icing sheets and some fondant and some cooled boiled water to start with. Now, usually when I um, create printed images on cookies, um, the idea is that you um, you create the cookies and you let them sit overnight um, to, to sweat a little bit or to dry out. Because what you'll find is that um, when you're popping the icing sheets onto the fondant, um, if you check it the next day, if you've left it overnight, you'll find that it's a bit sticky, especially when it's got saturated colours like that. Um, the white, not so much, but definitely with um, the prints with lots of colour. So um, I always recommend when you um, make your cookies that you give yourself a day and a half for them to dry before you package them in heat sealed cello bags. However, if you're not packaging them at all, um, then then you know you can you can deliver them the next day or serve them the next day, what have you. So I'm just going to pop my icing sheets back into uh, the sealed bag. Now, just to let you know, I actually offer a printing service for edible icing. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware of that. So um, I have pre-cut sizes, um, also A4, only A4 sized sheets. And um, also I can custom cut some designs as well um, if you need them. So I'm basting some full rest. So I've got my fondant. Um, I prefer to use a bakel fondant for my printed um, cookies just because it doesn't, it dries out just the right amount. Um, fantastic I use for my um, embossed cookies um, and because uh, it's just, um, they, they kind of like look better and just suits the purpose. Um, so anyway, I've, I've taken some of my fondant. It's just a white fondant. Um, I haven't put anything in it. I've just microwaved it um, for a little bit. I do it at five second intervals, just until it's soft. You don't want to let it go too far because then what will happen is um, the icing will melt. Um, so that, that's not ideal. So you just want to get it so that it's nice and, um, you know, a bit not like Play-Doh, but I guess a bit like plasticine, if anyone remembers that stuff. So I've, I've needed that. Over here you'll find my, um, I, this is my uh, fondant sheeter, but may, you can use a, a pasta roller if you wanted to, or just do it by hand, depending on how big your orders are. So um, I always work with um, corn flour, so, so that it doesn't stick to the board. <clears throat> and um, I just brush that onto the surface a little bit of corn flour onto the surface of my um, work station and then a little bit of baking paper I keep vanishing sorry about that but my little caddy here at the bottom um, has got all of my equipment so I just start off by just popping a little bit of corn flour don't overdo it because then um, the, uh, the fondant won't stick to the cookie so I just got to roll that out a little bit I don't worry too much about um, the air bubbles. Some people pop them out, obviously, because you you see um, the air bubbles and finished work. But with these, I don't worry too much. So just pop it through the fondant sheet up, but you would use a pasta roller or you would do it by hand as well. And then I finish off with just a rolling pin with guides. I'm just gonna roll that out until I get it as thin as I like. Just keep lifting it and rolling it. Okay, push it out until it's nice and smooth and it's at the width that you'd like it to be. So, um, here we go. 
Now, also, you'll find that a lot of people have asked the question that when they put fondant onto your cookie, um, that you can see all the bumps onto the of the cookie in the fondant. Um, so lots of bumps and lumps underneath. So, I mean, that goes back to um, if your foundation is wrong, then it's gonna look wrong. But unfortunately, cookies bake that way and we can't really do anything about that. So if they bake, slightly lumpy then you'll see that slightly lumpy texture but what I found is that if you let your fondant sit for a little bit um, and kind of develop a little bit of a skin so I'd say about you know two or three minutes um, then you can actually when you pop it onto the um, onto the cookie it doesn't actually mold to the cookie because of the heat it kind of sits on top of it um, and and it's like a like a plat like a platform. It doesn't kind of mold into the into the bumps of the cookie, and that's you'll find um, you'll get a better better result. So I'm just going to take my cookie cutter that I made with my 3D printer. Um, so what I do generally is when I make my cookie cutter, um, I will have a template that I make, and then that template I. Um, pop into my um, software to create the template to cut. So I use a Cameo Silhouette, which is great. So I just grab a little bit of cool boil water and just lightly brush it on and then pop, just kind of slide the, the, um, the fondant on. This is the easy part. It's actually quite quick and you'll see Smoothed on, there we go. Um, and I do a whole lot of those at the same time, but for the sake of today, I'll do it all together. So you can let that sit, or you can put the icing sheet on straight away, it's up to you. So I'm just gonna cover that up so that it doesn't get too hard. And it's easy to cut a bit later. So once we've cut um, the fondant and smoothed it out, Make sure that your hands are dry. Um, you grab your icing sheet from your sealed paper bag or your sealed um, Ziploc bag. And you'll see that I've printed that out and as I just kind of prise it off and you get a custom shape matching the cookie cutter. There you go. So, so then what I do is I brush Again, cool boil water onto the cookie. Not too much, so it's not saturated. So if you find that you've got too much on there, just get a clean paper towel and dab it off. If you put too much on there, then it, it actually dries a little bit shiny. So you want it to be kind of tacky, see? And then you just pop the icing sheet on like so, slide it on. And just make sure your hands are dry when you do that. And there you go, you have it. A lovely face, happy Valentine's Day. Isn't that great? There you go. Once you've created your, your um, cookies with the edible image, um, these will develop a shine overnight. I think I mentioned that um, initially in my video. So that's just the fondant sweating and also um, the sugar, because there's a lot of sugar in the icing sheet, so that's sweating as well. Um, so it's not a good idea if you're going to package them in, in um, cello bags to pop them straight in because the image will stick to the bag um, and it'll dissolve basically. So what I find is I leave them sit overnight and then um, if you do have a dehydrator, I pop them in for about half an hour um, after they've sat overnight, not straight away, um, and then sit them in there for about half an hour. <clears throat> um, at 35 degrees, so the lowest temperature. Um, if you don't have a dehydrator, an oven at a really low temperature, um, just so that it dries it out a little bit, um, and then you can package them. You'll find that if you touch them, they're not sticky anymore. Um, also, I find if I get a little bit of corn flour and I just brush it over the top, it tends to absorb that shine as well, and then I package them. So um, uh, if you do have any questions, please comment below. Um, it's pretty simple, it's easy design. It's really good, not just for the photo images, but also for the graphics, etc. If you've got a party and you wanna do a unicorn party and do something easy that you can manage, then printed icing sheets are ideal. So you just bake the cookie, do the fondant, stick it on the top. Um, and it's so simple and effective.
Anyway, have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Mm -hmm.